Hey guys, let's talk about air mod, why to set it up and how to do that. Let's roll the intro. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today let's talk about air mode and why to set it up. If the X axis there is our throttle band, on the right will be 100% max throttle, on the left zero, cutting the engines out basically. When we have a drone we always need somehow the engines all four uh, to do something to change the position of the drone and let us say we take three boxes for the left and three for the right side representing the throttle input what those sides have to do to reposition the drone If we now translate those six boxes to the uh, x-axis of our throttle band, we will have actually minimum throttle input necessary to keep the left side of the drone still alive at x3. The minimum throttle will be that point. If we are cutting below that minimum throttle, we will lose uh, the ability on the left side of the drone for the rotors to do what they have to do to maintain um, actions when we do our um, stick input. It's basically like swimming in a pool too much to the left side and our left arm is always hitting the wall of the pool. So we don't want to do that, we want to swim a little bit more in the middle that we can do with both hands, both sides, our swimming action that we can keep afloat. And that is basically what the drone tries to do. So why we are doing it? Why we would want to cut throttle mid-flight, letting our drone drop out of the air? Well, when we want to do aerobatics, when we want to do flips, we, we are hitting the throttle, putting the drone up there, then cutting it, doing the flip, and then we are catching it again with more throttle. Um, that is basically... Um, how to fly drones, have fun with them. But that action, cutting the throttle and then trying to catch it afterwards, that flip, that would be a problem if we don't have air mode. So what is air mode doing? Air mode basically temporarily bumps up the minimum throttle so that the left side of the throttle band is reserved for what the left side of the drone has to do. So there's always enough range for the situation left that the drone can maneuver in mid-air. Even if we are cutting the throttle, it will always stay where it has to be that is not uh, interfering with our throttle input and what we really want to tell the drone to do. The drone always can react and that is what air mode ensures. Just to clarify, to not have any confusion, left and right is really only referring to that diagram here we are using to explain the situation. It is not necessarily the left or the right side or the front or the back of the drone. It really depends on the throttle input, what kind of um, input we are giving to tell the drone what to do. And um, then it is basically referring to which engine has two less idle power to perform the action it has to perform to do and uh, confirm the throttle input we are giving that it performs that action. So first we would have to set up a switch and we are doing that in the main menu of our TBS Tangle 2. We are going to page number 4.
And on page number four, we are scrolling down until we find an open channel uh, where we want to sign uh, in our new button we want to use for air mode. Then we are clicking on confirming that channel with our click wheel on the right side. And then we can give it a name and we can choose the source. We just activate that field and then we click the switch we want to use and uh, the Tango will address that switch to that channel uh, for performing that action. And now we can jump right in to connect our drone to a bed of light. We are grabbing a USB micro cable, sticking it into the main board of the drone. The head shouldn't be too wide, some plastic pieces are a bit wide, they wouldn't fit in there, so it should be a bit like sleek cable. Snugly fits in there between the power cord. And now we are connected to a flight. We can see that the USB cable is powering uh, the main board of the 95X. And our instruments of the drone are working. The compass is working and the gyroscope is also working. However, the power is not sufficient to power the receiver in the drone, so our radio cannot connect to the drone yet to set up the switches. So I have uh, laying around a 2S battery which I use for those setups. That is power enough to give the receiver of the drone enough juice. The only problem now is that the Cadex Vista is also powered up and that gets pretty hot. So I really recommend doing that in a good ventilated environment, maybe by the window putting the drone there, uh, otherwise you might have overheating issues. So now our radio is connected, green light, all good. Now we can start uh, setting up our switches. So first we want to make sure that motor stop is disabled. And then we scroll down and air mode could be always on by default, but I want to put it on a switch. So we have to turn always on off and then air mode will appear under modes and here we can then assign a channel and in our case we are using a channel I preset and I decided to put um, air mode on the Try switch on the left in the middle position. And because I'm out of switches, I put the beeper together with the turtle mode. Uh, that I can get an acoustic feedback when I'm accidentally in turtle mode when I want to launch. And that's basically it, you have your switch for air mode. If you have any ideas, comments, questions, leave them below in the comment section. Thanks guys for watching, have a great rest of the day, stay safe and see you in the next one.